This is episode 50 of No Man's Land. So, last episode we had troubles with the um, cow barn. I got them marked out, so all we have to do, apparently the mixer won't work, so that's why I have the trailer sitting over here. We were using, I was using the trailers to unload and it worked fine. I only put a little bit in though because we still can't get the manure pit to work, so that's kind of frustrating I'm not sure what's up with that but we'll get that figured out here soon um, let's see let's head over here we are going to go ahead and knock down some of these trees so we can put a field up over here so let's go ahead we'll hop out and we'll take out a couple trees with you guys in here go ahead and knock this one down take the branches off I find it sometimes hard to cut these branches off. I don't know why. But I struggle with that sometimes. Let thrown up in here. Oh. There we go. Strap it down. Perfect. Go on to the next one now. Let's grab this tree. Oh, come on down. There there we go. I'll right, cut that down and debranch that one as well. That one went a little bit easy. Well, now we're getting stuck up. There we go. Right, let me grab it this way so I can throw it in the trailer better so it's not running into the front trailer whenever I turn because that would be no no good, no bueno. And then, yeah, we need to take these stumps out as well. So I probably shouldn't have pulled up so far. And these trailers are hard to back up. I think it's almost impossible to back up two trailers like that. Did I get that? Oh, no, there we go. Not really worried about the dirt because, or the ground, I should say, because all of that's going to be turned into a field. So we'll go over here and take out these trees on the right, and then we'll kind of work our way to the left. We'll worry about the bigger tree there; that'll kind of be last. Should I shouldn't have pulled up so far here. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. There we go. So we can get the sumps out a little bit easier. So we'll take down a couple more with you guys in here and then I'll do the rest of it off camera. There we go. Uh, as you can see I have troubles with getting these branches off sometimes. Get that thrown up in there. Oh. There, there we go. Grab the other one. Sometimes I like going from the side a little bit better. Sometimes I think that works a little bit easier. Especially with the bigger trees, I think it works a little bit better with them. Look at this thrown up in here. Oh, there, there we go. Strap that down. And let's get these stumps taken care of. Perfect. Let's see, we should be able to fit these smaller trees here, well, the medium sized ones, we should still be able to pick up the medium sized ones, let's see if we can't get this one, should be able to, Should be able to lift that. There we go. Get that thrown in there. Where? Where's the other part? That's strange. It was right there. Maybe whenever we cut it, it um, just vanished like it does sometimes. That's what must have happened because I don't see it anywhere. Oh, that'll be alright, I guess. It's not losing us too much. Get that stump. There we go. Stump is out. So, I think what I'll do, I'll take out a couple more of these trees and then 
probably bring you guys back in here in a little bit after I get all these trees knocked out. We'll do one more with you guys in here. And after we get this one loaded up, I'll go ahead and put a cut in. Let's grab that. Throw it in there. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. Alright, so I went ahead and I took out the big tree. I was going to do it on camera, but it was only one big tree and it was pretty quick anyway. So I figured I would just go ahead and not show it on camera. I used the John Deere to get it loaded up. So now we're going to head over here. I got all the trees taken down, so they're all down. We'll go ahead and take, excuse me, we'll take this over to the sawmill. We already have our other trailer over here, and it's full of wood, so we won't be able to put it in there. We'll just have to kind of wait. We'll wait until we can put it all in. We can't get turned in here. There, there we go. Look at that. Alright, so we'll just sit this guy right here for now. It'll be fine if we put it here. Let's see how much we have a, a lot of wood over here. A lot. Can we put any more in here? Apparently we can't. It's not letting us put any more wood in. Let's see how is it looking? Let's check the production here. Yeah, we have a hundred and six thousand liters of wood. Sugar beets, we still have the fifty thousand liters of sugar beets as well. We need to get those sold off. We have a lot of wood chips too. We have, what is that, 20, 29,000 liters of wood chips. So, yeah, we still have all of these pallets over here. We can't lift these, unfortunately. They still weigh a ton, even with it, but we'll use Hossinator's truck here. Hopefully, don't mind. We'll just push these guys out of the way. We don't want it to be full, so we'll just push these over here. 34,000 liters of planks on the back, so to sell off. Oh, that one came out while we were on top of it. We'll wait for a couple more to pop out and then we'll push them out of the way so that it doesn't get full. There should be more in there, right? Yeah, we still have 8,000. There we go. Push that guy out of the way. Wait for another one to come out. All right, there it goes. I was wondering why it wasn't coming up. Let's get that one moved out of the way. Right, there should still be one more that'll come out here. There we go. Let's get that pushed out of the way. Hopefully Haas doesn't mind. He does have that little bumper on the front, so hopefully it's not damaging his truck. Sorry, Haas. Gotta do what we gotta do. So January, or July I mean July, is when we will be able to sell off these planks. So that's a couple more months. Planks will be going in um, July. So this is the plan to put a field right here and then eventually have it come down to here. So we'll kind of go from right here all the way up to here over and then back down and back over so all of 25 will basically be a field kind of like what we did with that field so we'll have a big field smaller field there smaller field and a couple more smaller fields down here as well so we'll have two decent sized ones and a couple smaller ones let's go ahead hop up here where is our tractor at there it is we want to use this guy so we'll go ahead and run this back. Get this unhooked in the shed here. It would be nice to have like a fence and some different trees right in through here. Maybe we'll cut these trees down, but we'll wait until our trailer's unloaded with wood. And then have a fence go along there and make it look all pretty. Kind of like what we did with the rest of the farm. 
And don't forget guys, if you haven't hit that like button, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, and you watch this far, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll help out the channel a lot. Also in the description, the Discord's down there as well. I'm starting to go the wrong way. Let's back up here and grab the plow. Grab this. I may do a time lapse of the film being plowed or created. Yeah, right there here, I think it would look really nice if we had a fence kind of start right here. And it goes straight down the whole way. The whole way down and then have some other trees put in here to make it look pretty. Make it look a little bit nicer and neater. I think that wouldn't be a bad idea. So, we'll have it run the whole way up along here. All the way up to the shed probably. And we'll have like a little gate there. I think that would look nice but let's get started on this photo I don't know exactly where we should start at maybe right here maybe not I'm not sure actually we probably should just start the whole way over here at the edge kind of go from there and let's start here Right, so we'll do the outside with you guys in here. Oh, sorry guys, I just had a yawn. I'm getting kind of tired. So we'll do the perimeter with you guys in, and then I'll do the inside of the field in a time lapse. I'll probably also fix up the road over there on our right side because the road has trees in it. You'll see here in a second what I'm talking about if you guys don't know yet. We're struggling to make it up this hill. This guy doesn't have as much horsepower as our other tractor. But we'll slowly make it. I also want to take out this tree right here on my left, them two trees right there. Probably should have taken them trees out while I had the trailer over here. And then our land, it only goes to about right here at this rock. So we're around that rock, so we'll just stop here. And then back up here and go the other way. Put it down. Let's see if we can't keep it straight. Oh, this is actually kind of straight for once. We never can keep it straight. I'm actually doing pretty good keeping this thing straight. I've never kept it this straight before. Keep going a little bit. That should be about good right there. Go the other way. We'll try to keep this line as straight as possible. We already aren't keeping it straight, but that'll be alright. We'll fix it up with the landscaping mode. And if you guys have any subscriber contracts, make sure you go ahead and comment them down below or put them in the Discord. Also, if you want any businesses or housing, we have houses on here. And if you want to open up a business, let me know. I have a couple people with businesses already. Just let me know. I'd be more than happy to do some subscriber contracts and make the game a little bit funner and help you guys out a little bit. Well, so far we had a couple. I know Haas, he had a couple subscriber contracts for me. 
and some a couple other people had them as well. I forget exactly who they were. So I apologize to you guys. But let's go ahead and make this last pass across here. After we do this, we'll probably do a time lapse, I believe. And then go from there. There we go, not keeping it straight again. Yeah, it's fairly straight. Let's see if we can't not be any crooked on the way across here. There we go. That's kind of perfect. Sorry, right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start up a time lapse. And we'll see you guys after the time lapse. So hopefully you guys enjoy it.
All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Let me know in the comments if you like time lapses or not. And of course, we can't go one episode without crashing. I had to get that crash in there. But anyway, let's go ahead and lime this fill down here. We just got that done. We need to smooth that out a little bit. That's a little bit bumpy there still. I'll try to fix that here in a little bit. But let's go ahead and put some lime down on the field. I know lately we've been doing a lot of building and a lot of creating fields and tree cutting and all of that stuff. So hopefully we can get back to farming here soon. Maybe maybe not in this episode. Well, this episode we've basically been doing all farming. Well, we created a field, but creating a field, that's farming, I guess. But talking about like harvesting and planting and seeding and stuff like that. Hopefully we get back to doing that. Planning season is coming up soon. We are in December still, so we're trying to get into planning season. Hopefully this episode, maybe next episode, we'll see. Not sure what's going to happen, but it is coming. We've been in the same month for like two episodes now. I felt like three episodes, so let's see. We went ahead. I forgot to take out these two trees here. But I made the entire field all squared off, and I got rid of these trees up here, made the road straight, got all that done. Um, yes, yeah, so, it's all the way up to here. I don't know why I went the whole thing, what am I doing? Anyway, let's get out of there. Let's come back over here. So, the plan is, we probably... We're going to get into January. I think that's what we should do. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I think um, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. We're going to get into January because December and January, if we take a look here at my sheet, we can sell off sugar beets in January. So yeah, we're going to go ahead, let a worker go on this, and we're going to go and jump into January. So I'll see you guys here in one second. Alright, so it's January now, our tractor's over there working, he actually ran out of money so he stopped working, but we're going to use the old case because we never use the case or anything, so, well, well we do use it some little bit, but we have so many tractors right now, I feel like we have too many that we never get the chance to use our tractors, so we'll use the case, let's go ahead and take the covers off, we'll go ahead and load up with some cut sugar beets. I was going to use a semi truck, but the semi truck is over at the sawmill, so we're just going to kind of let that over there. We will get that a little bit later. But let's go ahead, fill up with this. We'll have to take two trips with this, but that'll be fine. No biggie. It'll be alright. Figured we might as well just let the semi over there. Everything will work out fine anyway. So let's get loaded up. And we will head up to Big Bucks. That's the best price. We still have 99,000 liters of wood over there. So we could put a little bit more wood in the sawmill. But we'll worry with that later. We'll do that a bit later. So I have 13,000. So yeah, we'll have another half a trailer load ish. Like 70% of the trailer load. So I'm going to go ahead, big bucks paying the most, so we're going to go ahead, head up here, and I'll see you guys once we arrive at big bucks sell point. Alright, we're slowly climbing up the hill here. We need to fix this exit so that we can enter and exit a bit better. But we'll, we'll probably do that here in one second, honestly, because it keeps bothering me. So let's go ahead and dump this in, get this unloaded. Should make a decent amount. We won't make too much because we didn't do as much as what we did last time, but we should still make a decent amount for the size fill that we're harvesting. Let's see. Let's go and actually start this guy up because he stopped working so we got 7200 not bad all right now let's head back up here where are we at there we are so we pull up oh we hit the tree right, let's back up here there we go 
Why is it why is it unloading out of the green door? We should probably fix that. Let's go ahead and change that. Now we have our turn signal turned on. What am I doing? Alright, and it's still hang on, let me turn on the help window so I know how to do this. Oh, it's down, not right. I was hitting right no wonder why we had the turn signal on. There we go. Now we got it to tip to the back. Let's go ahead and turn that back off. Get that unloaded. We'll make another seven-ish thousand, so that's not bad. And I think once I put this cut in here, I'll go ahead and fix the road up. So I will see you guys here in a second. We'll go and grab another load, and I'm going to fix up this road. So see you guys here in a second. All right, so I made it back. I fixed up the road, so now it is a bit easier to enter and exit. Let's go ahead and get this left. Oh, excuse me. My mouth just got really dry. Let me take a drink real quick. Oh, shoot. I'm out of water. All right, so we got another 5,400-ish. I fixed up the road entering in here. Let's go ahead and we'll head back. All I did was put a hole in the fence and put a road. It doesn't look the best. I may fix it up here in the future. But honestly, guys, I think that's how we're going to wrap up this video. So next episode, we'll get into selling off some more stuff, hopefully, and planning the field. Maybe harvest. I don't know if we'll get that far. But hopefully we can get some stuff planted and seeded. Maybe get a cut on the grass field. So that's kind of what we have planned. But anyway, guys, if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. We are closing in on 600 subscribers at the time of recording this. And hopefully we can get there so we can do our giveaway. And if you haven't joined the Discord yet, make sure you join the Discord. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one.